caring society. In our third theme, we focus on women and child, social welfare, culture and tourism, and also on environment and climate change. Women and child and social welfare, sir. I am pleased to inform the House that Beti Bachao Beti Padao has yielded tremendous results. Gross enrollment. <laughs> sir, <laughs> sir, if you hear the data, if you hear the data, I think it's important not to politicize issues related to women. Beti Bachao Beti Padao has yielded tremendous results. Gross enrollment ratio of girls across all levels of education is now higher than boys. At elementary level, at elementary level, it is 94.32% as against 89.28 for boys. At secondary level, it is 81.32% as compared to 78% for boys. At higher secondary level, girls have achieved a level of 59.70 compared to only 57.54% for boys. So girls are actually under Beti Padao benefiting from the scheme. Health of mother. <laughs> the health of mother and child are correlated closely. Nutrition is a critical component of health. To improve nutritional status of children, 0 to 6 years, adolescent girls, pregnant women and lactating mothers, our Prime Minister launched a portion of Abhiyan in 2017-18. More than 6 lakhs Anganwadi workers are equipped with smartphones to upload the nutritional status of more than 10 crore households. Sir, Honorable Speaker, sir, for the benefit of those who may not have heard this line, because it's very important, I'd like to repeat it. To improve the national nutritional status of children, children in 0 to 6 years of age, adolescent girls, pregnant women and lactating mothers, our Prime Minister launched a portion of beyond in 2017-18. More than 6 lakh Anganwadi workers are equipped with smartphones to upload the nutritional status of more than 10 crore households. The scale of this development is unprecedented. So the next is, women's age of marriage was increased from 15 years to 18 years in 1978 by amending erstwhile Sharda Act of 1929. As India progresses further, opportunities open up for women to pursue higher education and careers. There are imperatives of lowering MMR, maternal mortality rate, as well as improvement of nutrition levels. Entire issue of about age of girl entering motherhood needs also to be seen in this light. I propose to appoint a task force that will present its recommendations in six months time. I propose to provide 35,600 crores for nutrition related programs for the financial year 2020-2021. So in continuing with our government's commitment to welfare of women, this budget provides for about 28,600 crore for programs that are specific to women. 